So uh, this is the sum of unique elements problem on bleed code, and it's pretty simple. Uh, classified isn't easy, and the premise is, okay, given a list of numbers, if something appears once, uh, return the sum of the, all of those numbers. Otherwise, you know, ignore them. Uh, and they use the word unique elements. So right off the bat, when I hear the word unique, in a programming question, I'm thinking, oh, there's probably a set involved because they have the property that, you know, you can't add two of the same key to a set. Um, so I'm already thinking about that. And I'm also thinking, how would I do this in my head? Because if I, like, you know, if I was just given this program, this problem to do in my head, like that's probably, and how to just do it manually, that's similar to how I would want a, pr a computer to do it. So as we're going through, we're probably going to need to add all these items to a set and then um, just sum those numbers up. So pretty simple, um, but it does miss, miss the subtlety that um, this number two, so if we were to use that solution, we would return six, one plus two plus three, and then ignore this one. Um, but uh, we want to actually ignore numbers if they appear more than once. So we actually need to keep track of how many times we've seen a number. So we're not actually going to be using a set, but we're going to be using a map. So mapping a integer, whatever value we see here, to the frequency. Um, so that's a pretty common data structure, but uh, let's go ahead and do that. So let's... Uh, now, before that, before we do it up, let's discuss the runtime and the trade-off. So here's what we'll do. We'll build up a frequency map that will take O of n time and O of n space. Um, o of n time because we're going to have to go through each item in the array, and then o, o of n space because potentially all items are unique, and that's how big the array could get, the size of the um, input. I guess I can make this a little bigger. Um... So yeah, so that would be our first solution. Um, and then, so no, that would be our first pass. So we would build up the frequency map, that'd be O of n space, O of n runtime, and then we would go through the map again and uh, add up elements that have been appeared exactly once. So let's do that real quick. So we just need to go through each item in the list. I is left in non thought length. I plus plus. And um, we have two cases, whether it's already contained in our key set of our map or the value is not contained. So uh, that's pretty simple. And I'll just call that value that we're looking at, I'll just call that val. I'll say, okay, if our key set contains that, that's one case, and then this is our other case. So if our map, if our key set does, if our map doesn't contain it, that's pretty simple. We just want to put that value in there, right? But if it doesn't, we'll just, we just want to put the next value in. So we'll put um, a val, and then just basically increase that value. So map.get val plus one. So now we've, we've built up our frequency map. Build up freak map. And uh, now we just need to go through again and sum it up. Sum up the values that have appeared once. So what is that? So for each key, key in the map, Um, if, if the uh, frequency is one, then we'll add it up into our sum. If it's one, then we'll say, okay, sum plus equals two. And at the end, don't forget to return the sum. Let's zoom out so we can see all of that. Um, 
So yeah, this is one pass. This is our second pass. This is our own event storage. Let's see if it works. Cool, ran fast. One millisecond. Um, so this is good, but your interviewer might ask you, can you do better? And you might say, okay, how so? And he will might say, or she might say, uh, can you do it in one pass? And then you say, oh. So a similar idea would be to just use a frequency map, but inside there, actually keep the running, but like a running tally of the sum like in there. And this is why I, I tend to use for loops um, rather than streams in interviews because it's a lot clearer and um, you can actually add stuff in here a lot easier than you know trying to chain it together um, with you know like the lambda function the, the lambda function syntax stuff so um, so let's try and keep track of running tally of the sum so we'll do this we'll just put this up here And we won't need this anymore. And we will say, okay, um, our, our, the meat of our logic is probably going to go in here. So if we're going to be putting a new value into the map, we still want to, you know, add in that val. Like that makes sense. Um, but there's some subtlety here. So if we go into this let's let's look at this example too for this um, use case so if we've gone through and we've put in one and the frequency of one is one we've done that we've gone through this step but the next time through and, and then we've added it into the sum so the next time through we'll be looking at one and uh, say okay we've already added that in so we actually need to subtract it out so it's because it's elements that have appeared that have already appeared once in the set, um, or in the map. We need to you know less that out. So map.keyset contains val map dot put at val map dot wait no sorry we are gonna sorry I we're gonna say um, get map dot get at val is uh, this one. Then we're just gonna go ahead and uh, subtract it out. In the case where it's greater than two, that implies that we've already subtracted it out previously, so we can actually ignore those values. So let's see if that works. And you can see it still runs one, that one millisecond, it's still Java is pretty fast, um, but algorithm, algorithmically, better runtime. So this is a better solution. And just for you know entertainment purposes, um, just you know an example to show why like I actually do recommend Python. Um, what, how long was this solution? This was you know let's say let's say twenty four lines. Um, in Python, you could do it, and I'm just going to copy paste something I wrote earlier. You could do it a lot easier with a lot less pain. And I'm sh there are more, there's like one liner Python solutions. Um, but if you're going to like not use any like built in functions, like this is 14 lines. So I, th I think this helps in making it a lot more readable. Um, you know, same runtime, same everything. So I might start actually using Python in the future but, um, for these interviews. But interestingly, all, interestingly, also you can see that Python does run a bit slower. But anyway, that's the um, some of unique elements problem. Until next time.